Hey guys, what's up? First, I want to say I'm sorry for not having a video on in a long time. I've been working a lot lately, and I just haven't gotten around for videos. I also went to Canada for 10 days on a family vacation, so that counts towards like the two weeks I haven't made a video. So it's actually not too long compared to other people. But what I'm comparing to, or what I'm reviewing today, is this solar charger by Monaco that WirelessGround.com was nice enough to send over to me. What comes with it is what you see right here. We have our cable that is most likely, or well not most likely used, most often used for charging, but it can also be used USB to mini USB, replacing the USB to an adapter, which also goes to mini USB. Now this is most likely for if you are charging your solar charger, the same time you wanna charge something else. Um, right here we have a micro USB which goes with that. Now what this solar charger does is it works as, let me put it in terms for you guys, like a Mophie juice pack, a Richard Solo, one of those things. But there's two ways to charge this baby. This will charge any USB device, my phone, my iPod, my iPad, my Xbox wireless headset, my uh, nav system, pretty much everything that runs off USB power. Now, this charges, it'll take about six hours if you use the power in, where, you where you're plugging it through this baby over here. It'll take about six hours to charge this baby up fully. And then you can charge your iPod or your iPad pretty much, I believe, to a full level. Now, you can also charge this if you are out in the sun. You just lay this down and it gains sun, it gains energy by the sun. Now that is solar powered and it is a great thing to have around. It usually takes about eight hours to do solar powered charging. Now when it is charging, these, this light right here will be red and once it is done, that will be green. You could easily charge it while it is getting charged by the sun, making it very easy. Now I can put this on my dashboard and I won't have a problem with my phone or my iPad or iPod or anything really, and it'll charge away. The only downside I found to this is, it's not this, this fault, it's like, it's a car's fault. They have the windows, it blocks the UV rays from the sun, which is what this uses to charge itself. Now unfortunately, that is not this fault, and it's using this for a couple weeks, I found it's pretty difficult to find sunlight. Right now it is uh, pouring rain outside, dark, which is the reason I'm making this video, otherwise I would still be at work as of right now. And I have a little bit of spare time, so you know what, I'll spend it on you guys. So, I wouldn't be able to charge this baby today, I would have to manually charge it up and then take it on the go, but that's not a bad thing. It's an extra battery pack and it works really well. I would recommend this battery pack to anybody who is looking to be charging on the go, not home a lot, you don't have a lot of power outlets, and this is perfect for you. And if you're a lifeguard like me, this works really well. You're outside in the sun all day long. This will charge you up unless you have outlets in your guard shack. So guys, this has been a review of the Monaco solar powered USB charger. Make sure you head over to wirelessground.com for all of your wireless needs, your iPad needs, and your iPod needs. They have a lot of mobile phones they support, and you guys should go check them out. I'll see you guys in the next video.